And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thank you for joining me today from my prayer corner here at home for a quick chat and a morning cup of coffee. And so I thought today I would talk a little bit about, uh, you know, how we're trying to survive all of this um, information that we're being bombarded with all the time. I was thinking about this earlier in the week um, from someone myself that doesn't even have cable or television. I don't watch the news, um, so I'm not really consuming a lot of that information. But still, even from what little bit that I see that I can't avoid from having to work online and doing different things and looking at websites or you know, doing Google searches or checking email or whatever it is, um, that you just can't escape the, uh, the complete assault on our senses that is taking place. There's so much going on all the time. Uh, we're trying to keep up with all of the news and the latest information on the coronavirus situation. Of course, there's um, you know all of the stimulus package information. There's all of the political stuff, all the election uh, stuff that's coming up, all of the, the uh, Black Lives Matter and, and the looting and the riots that have been taking place and um, all this different you know information that comes at us all day long. Um, it, it's more information than I think we've ever had to process before. I'm um, just remembering what it was like growing up. Uh, and, you know, when you wanted to know what was going on, you watched the news, you know, in the morning or at night for very limited amounts of time, usually half an hour. And, uh, and you had to read the newspaper. And, uh, and that was it. And, of course, reading the newspaper is not the same in terms of the amount of information, the images, the video, the sound. You don't have that. You're reading words and, you know, in the Sunday edition, seeing color pictures. As it is now, there's so much um, information bombarding us, and I don't think we're really taking a look at the toll that it's having on us, you know, emotionally and especially spiritually. Uh, the more information that we're just saturated with, the more images, the more sounds, the more, you know, pictures that are in our brains when we're actually trying to be in our place of quiet and stillness at home you know, with our icons, say our prayers, um, all of that information is there and it can sort of surface up and just muddy the waters for us when we're trying to stay still and, uh, and have a real encounter with our Lord and Savior. So um, I would say just by way of thinking about this, something to consider, um, we are in a fasting period uh, until Saturday. It's the fast for Tispanahias for the falling asleep of the Virgin Mary, which we celebrate every year on the 15th of August, of course. And so from the 1st of August to the 15th, we fast. There are a few days left. And uh, just to think about an opportunity um, for us maybe to use the, the last few days in the fast to try to sort of detox, you know, just a little bit, to sort of purge ourselves a little bit of all of this information uh, with which we're saturated. And to just sort of try to find a little peace, a little quiet, a little stillness and, uh, you know, turn off the television, get off of the Internet, turn off the computer, turn off your your phones and your tablets. And and uh, if you don't have to be on them because you're working or doing something that is absolutely necessary, maybe limit it a little bit, turn it down a little bit, turn it off a little bit and try to find a little stillness, a little quiet, try to get outside a little bit more, beautiful weather hopefully that we're enjoying. And, uh, and that will hopefully help us uh, gain some stillness, some peace, some misihia, as we say, right? Some quiet and reconnect um, with, with God. And hopefully if we do that for a few days and we sort of detox a little bit, then maybe moving forward, of course, the fast is over by Sunday already, we shouldn't just go back to, you know, uh, gorging ourselves on, you know, all of this media coverage. Maybe we should limit it a little bit, take a break a little bit. And uh, especially following certain days of the week, our fast days or our Sundays where we're setting aside a day for the Lord, um, you know, find some peace and some quiet every day so that we can really listen. And we cannot just sort of talk at God. But you also, in a conversation, in a dialogue with God, you have to be able to be quiet enough and still enough within, within your heart and within your mind to be able to hear also God speaking to you. And a lot of times people say, Father, I pray, I talk 
with God. And I, and I, and I say the words and I pray, but I never hear an answer. And I say, well, you know, maybe he's talking, but you just can't hear him. Maybe your life is so full of noise and distraction and temptation that you really, he's trying to speak to you, but you, you just, you can't listen. And hopefully we can find some peace and some quiet to be able to hear God's voice just a little bit clearer each and every day. Once again, may our Lord and Savior bless us and keep us this day and every day. Amen.